Hey everyone, it's been a while since I've done one of these real-time edit records, so I had a request recently for me to do some of my backlit photos. So here is a short-eared owl that I photographed this past uh, winter. So um, I, this is the original photo as shot, and I'm in Lightroom here, and I'm going to hop over to develop. And first things first, I'm going to give it a crop. I definitely shot this and wanted it a little bit more scenic but not quite as scenic as I had it there so um, first thing I'm going to get rid of that real bright spot over there and then just kind of level it out a little bit here so something like that I think looks good uh, so the next thing is I'm definitely going to increase the contrast a lot and it was actually quite a bit warmer that day uh, as far as the color goes so yeah it was the, the sun was just setting so something a little bit more like that actually yeah there we go that's getting into the ballpark um, and then I actually want to darken the top half just a little bit and richen up this bottom half a little bit so some gradient adjustments there and that's looking pretty good so at this point I'm going to go ahead and hop into Photoshop alright so first things first if I had to remove anything clone anything I would and actually I guess this is oddly distracting this one blurry foreground thing here so go ahead and get rid of that just kinda clean that up and then I'm just gonna slightly go over those light spots there but that's looking pretty good and I guess this real bright one up there I'll just darken that down slightly okay so I definitely want to make the owl pop a little bit more um, you know for me it's all about this back this rim light outline so I'm actually gonna make the background just a little bit darker so I'm gonna do a curves adjustment layer to kinda of take that down the notch back there and then I'm gonna paint that in right around the owl so I'm just gonna zoom in here and paint specifically right around the feathers of the owl And this is kind of the slow boring part but thankfully this is relatively easy there's not a ton of uh, feather detail here because it was kind of small so it's just a basic outline and it's a pretty easy cutout overall I'd say and there we go so now I'm gonna fill that everywhere else so now you can see we actually darken the background there to kind of really make that pop. I'm um, going to go ahead and reverse that selection and apply this to the owl to really make the bird stand out with some contrast. So there we go. Next I really want that eye to stand out. So I'm going to enhance that a little bit more. And i got to be careful not to go too far with that. That seems pretty good. It's a subtle change, but it definitely makes it stand out. So here, I'll zoom in a little bit. So that's before, after, before, after. Uh, Any more, and it's going to start to look really fake. And then the next thing with the same layer I want to do is I really want to make the glow stand out. And you can actually see it kind of it, it kind of fades on the top there. So I'm actually going to enhance that a bit just by painting in some lightning around those areas really make this guy glow in the spots that it should the rest of this is pretty good and I'm really gonna enhance the that warmth a bit on the whole image so I really want to give it that super orange kind of last daylight glow and that's looking pretty good I'm gonna take some of that off the owl so the owl's not going super super yellow and then I think I'm gonna give the whole thing just a shot of contrast there we go that's looking better and again I'm gonna go ahead and take some of that off the owl and there I think that's looking pretty good I think overall I got a little bit too much saturation going on here so I'm just gonna back that off a touch and there we go so I think from there to there is gonna be my before and after in Photoshop so I like that I'm just gonna go ahead and save that and close it and hop back into Lightroom here and I'll show you guys the complete before and after so um, here is the final piece 
here is the edited just in Lightroom version. So you can see it's a, it's a pretty decent change there. And then here's the complete original photo. So from beginning to end, there we go. So now you can see uh, pretty significant change there, but again, it didn't really take that long. So I don't know, a little bit over five minutes. And that's about it. So hope you guys enjoyed that. And um, I'll try and have a few more of these again in the near future. Thank you.